Hello everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're gonna take the guts out of this Amazon Echo 2 speaker and uh, find out what makes it tick. But first, I've been using this guy for a few weeks, so I'm gonna let you know what I think about the little bugger. I'm gonna split up into three topics, design, features, and of course, sound quality. I'm gonna um, unpackage it first. Here, a little unboxing. Uh, design, starting with design, um, I really like Amazon's packaging design. It's just like simple, but cool, and, and I like it. it it's cool. Right. I've used it prior to this. Not its first unboxing. Yeah, okay. So I actually really like the design of the speaker, and it really makes sense for what they had in mind for it to be. It is small, doesn't take up much space in your home, and it blends really easy into the environment. One cool way that it can blend into the environment is it has these ugh, removable sleeves, so the speaker actually can come out of this fabric little shell, and you can buy like different color fabrics. Um, they even have wood grain ones. It's pretty cool. It's a handsome little speaker. It's handsome. All right, let's talk features. It does 360 sound, but its real main feature is Alexa Assistant. Um, I, I've never really used virtual assistants before this speaker. I've had an iPhone with Siri for like years, and I could probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've actually used her. But I actually really enjoyed using voice commands uh, to find and play music. And I found myself doing it all the time. By far the majority of people using Alexa use it to find and play music, but it also was cool being able to ask it for the weather, uh, stuff like that. I'm also really interested in getting smart bulbs or smart uh, outlets for my house um, to just walk home into my home and uh, say, Alexa, turn the lights on and have them come on. It's like Smart House. Yeah, that was a fun movie. Alexa is something I never thought I wanted, but now that I have it, I am definitely gonna keep her around. All right, sound quality. So this is the $100 question. Does it sound good? Um, and the truth is, it just sounds okay. Uh, it, it probably sounds like what you expect from a small, relatively inexpensive speaker. They did try to bass boost it, I think, a little bit. Um, but the woofer in here is so small, it doesn't reach those low frequencies, so it ends up with just a pretty big bump around 100 hertz. And I think it just kind of muddies the sound. It doesn't add anything, and I would actually prefer even a software or a physical like bass boost switch to kind of turn that on or turn that off. Some people like it, I, I didn't really. That being said, it's not a horrible speaker. Um, I think it's perfect for normal people ambient listening. If it's on kind of adding a little tunes to your morning uh, get ready for work or while you're cooking in the kitchen, or you know, playing a little bit ambient music in the background while some people are over and you're just talking. It's definitely not for critical listening. Uh, kind of, it's kind of obvious. I, it de and it wasn't designed for that. I think if you have the right expectations, this speaker's great, it's fine, it's good. All right, let's test this little guy. So I'm gonna play some pink noise through the speaker. Uh, pink noise is just a full spectrum audio clip all played at once at the same volume amplitude. On this iPad, I'm gonna use some software, some spectrum analyzing software uh, with a small calibrated mic and we'll get some idea of what this thing sounds like. This isn't ideal, this is just for fun and for free. All right, all right, let's do it. All right, it worked. All right, so here's the audio spectrum. We got 20 hertz down here, uh, 20,000 hertz up here. So this is the highs, this is the lows. So a little bit about graphs like this. For accurate sound reproduction, you would want a flat line across here. So that would mean that the full audio spectrum all is being played at the same amplitude or same volume, uh, dB level. But a lot of speaker manufacturing companies decide to color or EQ their speakers to give them a specific sound. So like Amazon did with this guy. Um, you can see that there's a big dB uh, rise in around 120 hertz 
uh, it kind of lowers down uh, in the mid ranges. And then there's another DB bump up in, in the high end. Um, so a lot of people actually like this. It's called the smiley face uh, graph um, EQ setting. So a lot of people in your car, you might be one of these people, you get into a new car and you bump up the bass and bump up the treble. It's the kind of the same thing. So you're bumping up the bass and pumping up the treble, which is the high end and the low end of the, the spectrum. All right, um, let's take this guy apart. So right off the bat, you can tell there's no base port. So this must be a sealed woofer in here unless there's no yeah there's no passive radiator or anything like that so you can see in here the woofer is down firing it's firing down from up in here and the tweeter is firing up from this bottom section down here and then there's two surfaces that the sound waves can reflect off of in there so they don't hit each other it's pretty cool pretty cool little design tiny little tweeter in there though all right Let's take this thing apart. I feel, oh, there we go. Nice. Haven't broken it yet. Got it. All right, so we got some filtering here. Uh, capacitors, uh, some inductors. We got a little amp down here. Um, this is a Texas Instruments TPA 3118. Um, yeah, and the, the, the tweeter. It's three quarter inch tweeter, about 20 millimeters. We got our inputs, power. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, first board down. Let's keep going. At least it's pretty easy to take apart. Um, the next speaker I'm going to be tearing down is the new Apple HomePod. And uh, I just read an article about iFixit tearing it down, and they had to use a hacksaw. So I already bought it, and uh, it seems like that's going to be a, a trasher. Um, but it would be fun to, to see what's all in that guy. It's some interesting sh stuff in there. It'll be fun. Oh, my gosh. These screws are like, it's like screwed into rubber. They have a lot of retention. I guess that makes sense for, they don't want to be shaken loose with the, the power of this guy. There we go. All right, so here's the bottom plate. Oop. Here's the little dome, the dome guy. So the, the base woofer, subwoofer, would be down firing onto here, dispersing those sound waves, and the tweeter would be up firing on this dome, dispersing those sound waves. And they're different, uh, different curvatures. It's pretty, pretty interesting. That's cool. So here's the woofer. It's a paper cone. Let's see what size it is. So the the, the actual cone is about an inch and three quarters with the surround it's about two and a half a little under two and a half two and a half inches all right so here's the woofer it actually looks a lot like the woofer used in the version one of the amazon echo shielded so this is a, a second magnet to shield the first magnet so it doesn't mess with the electronics that are in here. So it looks like this is the only amp so far on the board because the rest of it, you can see down in here, there's nothing else in here other than the top portion, the Alexa portion of the speaker. So it is a sealed woofer, no, no porting, no uh, passive radiator. So this TP chip, is the only audio amplifier. So I'm gonna look it up and see uh, what this guy's running at. Texas Instruments mono amplifier, um, 60 watts, a working voltage between eight and 24 volts. I don't know what it's getting in there. But what's interesting about this amp board is I don't see any DSP. I don't see any digital signal processing, any brain boxes other than there's some 
passive uh, filtration and that's it. They probably can adjust the input. So what Alexa is actually sending to this amp, they could probably process the, the, the inputs and that's where the DSP is coming from. Because I know they, when they first released this version, um, it sounded one way and then they did an update and I, I guess the, the sound improved. Um, or at least that's what I've read. I don't know. I didn't have the original version. Um, so they're changing the sound somehow. It's probably through, through the input. Um, but yeah, cool. All right, let's keep digging. Do, 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 do. Pulling screws, pulling screws. So this, this lid just popped off. Just some clips holding it in. Okay, so we got this board. Oh, this is a heat sink. Ah, all right. So we got something under here. This is going beyond my uh, <laughs> my expertise or my lack thereof. Um, but this is definitely uh, some heat transferring material going into this big guy, which is obviously a heat sink. So we got something some power stuff under there. Probably the brain box, I'm guessing. Here's a little microcontroller. So this is the brain of Alexa. So we got some controllers in here. Um, these, so we got some LEDs right along the edges. That's what lights up this outer ring. Uh, and then these are microphones. So that on, you see in here, we have these kind of directional microphones that can pick up the one in the center. Is this gonna come off? They can pick up your voice from, you know, different areas in the room. I think this is all just one piece. I don't need to go any further, I don't think. But that's cool. All right. So this is actually a pretty simple teardown. I'm a little surprised. Um, and I guess to recap what we learned, just a two inch woofer uh, in a sealed enclosure with a little three quarter inch tweeter and a 60 watt amplifier with some filtering. Yeah, cool, success. I'm gonna take some pictures and then uh, button her up and see if it, it works. I'll let you know. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get this back together. This is a good first teardown. <laughs> I'm probably speaking too soon, but we'll see. All right, um, catch you on the flip. All right, let's see if it works. I'm a little scared. Hey, we got light. We've got lights. We've got lights. Hey Siri. Oops. Wrong. Alexa. <laughs> uh, what's the weather? Right now in Atascadero, it's 61 degrees with partly sunny skies. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather with a high of 62 degrees and a low of 34 degrees. I did it! Woo! All right, thank you so much for watching. Um, I forgot to mention before, but if all you care about is sound quality and you just have $100 to spend, don't buy this thing. Uh, I have a video on a really cool speaker kit. It's called the C-Note Speaker. Go check it out. Um, I have a website called kmakits.com. Uh, I got speaker building kits, I got speaker building plans, I have free plans, a whole bunch of stuff. Find me on Patreon, I got shirts. This is gonna mess up the mic, but I got shirts, they got a design on the back. Go on Patreon to see the design. Um, thanks, this is a new uh, video style for me. Um, hopefully it was enjoyable. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. So up next, I got I got a HomePod. I think I talked about it earlier, but um, I'm gonna take a hacksaw to a HomePod in the next one. So, all right, see you guys. I'm.
I'm so shocked I got it back together. I don't think I'm gonna have the same luck with 